I'm Dana Shamus, and this week I'm going to talk about the autumn equinox and this idea of balance uh, and how we find balance in our life and what balance means to you. And I'm going to challenge you to play with this concept um, as we move into the autumn equinox. So for those of you who don't, know, who don't know, autumn equinox is this time of the year, this particular day of the year, uh, where we have equal sunlight and no sunlight. So light and dark are in balance. Uh, as many people say. So there's the same amount of light, hours of light in the day, minutes of light in the day, as there are minutes of darkness. And um, and so, you know, that's a really special time. It's a really special moment to pause and reflect and tune in. And, um, and so, you know, I've taught yoga and meditation and breath work and sound healing for a very long time now. And um, people always come to me with the intention of balance. When I ask them, well, what do you want? Like, what do you want out of this session? What do you want out of this crystal, crystal bowl session? What do you want out of our meditation? I want more balance, people tell me. And so, what does balance mean to you? It's such a curious, curious thing to me because, you know, I, I think as a yoga teacher, I have a very different idea of balance than many other people do, right? So let's take the example of tree pose in yoga, right? So you're balancing on one foot, you're embodying a tree, right? Like the name of the pose is tree pose. You're supposed to be tree-like. Um, but most of us think of trees as like these solid, immovable forces that like just are uh, there, right? And if we could just do everything right, everything would line up and be in balance and be stable and steady and the same and consistent. Um, that we have this idea of balance as when things are in the right order or right place or, or perfect, then things are right. And, um, and in this place of balance where everything is just okay. But the truth is tree pose is never like that. And balancing poses are never like that. A headstand, right? A headstand isn't about being perfectly still and unmoving and absolutely stable. Tree pose is not about your immovability, right? It is actually about your ability to come back to center, your ability to come back to what is true and unchanging in you. And that is a quite a different thing. Uh, it's a quite a different concept. And the actuality of it is very different. Like the experience of doing a balanced pose in yoga is actually constant attention to the center so that you can make all the minor adjustments that you need to stay in and connected to that place of center, right? It isn't about always being still. It is actually that constant attention to where the middle is, where your center is, where neutral is, and the, all the fluctuations and adjustments that need to be made to keep in balance right? It's a very different kind of thing uh, than I think what most people want when they come to me. <laughs> uh, and yet, that is what I give them because what I teach people is how to maintain that attention on your energy, your center, your focus, your goals, and that, you know, the practice of constantly shifting and adjusting and um, refocusing and discernment and evaluation 
all of these happen all the time to maintain your connection to your center, right? And so as we, so as we move into this time where light and dark, right, are seemingly balanced, um, and tomorrow it will shift, right? Tomorrow, the next day, you know, one will be more than the other, and it will cycle back to this place of evenness again, right? So that um, there is nothing wrong with the undulation. There's nothing wrong with the variation. There is nothing wrong with the changing, which again, I think is something that most people um, have a hard time with. Like they feel like if things are out of balance, then something's wrong and they're not doing something right or or something along those lines. And the truth is like, we don't want a life that's steady, 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 right? Intense joy is not balance, right? It is intense ecstatic joy, which is amazing and super fun and enjoyable and not every day all the time, right? And grief, loss, it happens. And you may be depressed when you lose somebody. You may have intense sadness. Also, perfectly understandable. You have somebody violates your boundaries or is inappropriate. You have intense anger. Also, super appropriate and part of life. Right. And so, you know, how do we fully engage and fully enjoy all of those things, even the things that we don't like? How do we have them as part of our lives and still know our center, still know our unchanging truth, right? Still know our purpose. And that, that is the kind of living that I wish for all of you, that even in grief, you know that you will come out of it because the truth of who you are is beauty and light and joy and peace and ease, right? That even in ecstatic delight of life, you know that you can take in other components of life. And if you're not in that ecstatic state, you know at some point you will experience it again because you as a human being know your essence and your truth. You know your center and you know that even as things undulate, right, the truth of you is unchanging. And that's really what I desire for everybody. That's why I do what I do um, all the time. <laughs> because that's really brilliant. And that's really an amazing way to move through the world. And when we do that, like, you know, when you live your truth, when you live your passion, when you live your joy, it benefits all of us. The world is a better place, hands down. You serve exactly who you're meant to serve in the way that you are designed to serve them. Um, and and doing that, you serve yourself in the highest. So that that is the beauty of it. Uh, and hopefully in this season of Equinox, you can start to play with this idea of balance in your life, right? So how do we get to this place of knowing the truth within us and knowing the truth that is unchanging in us? And um, and so this season, this, this time of Autumn Equinox, I invite you to muse on how, how balance shows up to you. Um, and so in my blog this week, I, uh, I point out, I give you some simple questions. There aren't a lot of questions. Um, but to explore this idea of balance, 
what do you give equal weight to, meaning or value to, um, the light and the dark in your life? So do you value light and dark equally? Does, do you give the same amount of time to light and dark? Do you give the same amount of meaning and intention to light and dark? Um, and so what, what, what do I mean by light and dark? Like I, I actually don't mean sunlight and, and evening um, or nighttime. I really mean like the things that are light in your life. So that could be activity, um, the concept of yang, like like things that you do during the daytime. Do well, I mean, I guess if you're nocturnal, that it, active, right? The active things in your life. Um, spirituality can, can be considered a light component. Play um, things that uh, things that are known or things that are seen. Uh, innovation, newness, beginnings. These are all examples that I give of things that represent light in your world. Um, and then things that represent dark, right? So that can mean rest, um, yin activities, physical matter or daily life, uh, heavy or burning activities or things that you feel are heavy or burdensome. Um, things that we can't see or we don't know. Old things, endings. How do we flow with these things in our life? Do we have balance? Do we um, deal with them in a, in a way of evenness, steadiness, consistency, um, appreciation, value, right? So it's a, it's a fun, uh, it's a fun activity and enlightening activity. It's not designed to be uh, heavy or super serious, um, but really insightful during this time of life because this time of life, where we are right now, my sense is and my feeling is, is that we move from light to dark very fast. Like we're iterating very fast. You could be have great success, great, something fantastic happens, celebratory happens, followed by the next day of something really tragic and, um, and loss oriented. And these undulations seem very large in people's life right now. So this idea of moving from light to dark, right? And how we are in that flow and this idea of how we connect to our center and what is unchanging to us as the sense of balance um, and as the sense of safety through these significant undulations is very powerful, very supportive, um, and very comforting. So I encourage you to engage in this concept and play with it because the more that you can know that your center exists, even if you're not there all the time, know where that is and that unchanging sense of you and sense of purpose and connection, right? Then it's much easier to take on this undulation of light and dark, of good and bad, of creation and destruction, of play, of sadness, of, um, ecstatic life and of mundane life, right? So these things, um, as we learn to find our center and find that place of connection, of truth, then the undulations we get way more skillful at. We get way more skillful at moving through them. And then the impression is that you are always in balance. That, that is what trees do. <laughs> that is really the trick of being tree-like, is not necessarily being immobile, but being so skillful at the ways that you maneuver and find new resources, find new beginnings, let things go, let leaves drop, blow in the wind, you know, let twigs fall, bloom, however all of that happens for you, right? You have such a skillful connection to where that center is and what your purpose is that it becomes easy, right? 
to let things go and start things new and, and, and what have you. So play with that uh, this autumn equinox season. And I hope you have a beautiful autumn equinox and, um, and really enjoy this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to find out more information about me or my offerings, please check out my website, danashamas.com. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter. I send them out weekly with tips, insights, rituals, meditations, personal updates, special events and offerings. So I know you don't want to miss out. Uh, thanks again for watching and I look forward to connecting soon.